Hey, fuckers. I already read that, so, so I remember doing this battle. And they killed me, so yeah. So I'm not reading that again, because I remember doing that. Somehow. Is everyone okay? The Chosen Pogon will think twice before attacking us again, that's for sure. We're not beaten yet, man. The Chosen are gonna kick you in the can, man. But it looks like you're too tough for the runs of the clan, man. I think it's time I change the plan, man. Huh? Tricky. That lot ain't here to muck about. Hey monsters, the builder's the boss of this island, so here's the plan. Take her down and win the crown, man. Nah, mate, I ain't having it. I won't let you pinch our mate off us, uh, not on your Nelly. Emma, you need to get out of here pronto. You're too important. Don't worry, we'll look after 
Numpties. Numpties. Meroth, you go with her. Head to the dock and set sail for another island. But what about you? We can't just... This isn't in time to argue. Those monsters want to take Emma away from us, and if they do, we can wave goodbye to all our hopes and dreams. Just go. Fine, I'll look after her. The rest is up to you guys. Come on, Emma, let's go. Let's get to the dock. <laughs> you won't be escaping that easily, flesh face. It's an ambush. We'll have to fight our way through. Alright, we did it. No broken bones here, but that's more than I can say for that lot. I'm out of off. I take it you'll be head head heading off for a while. It's for the best the Church of Hagan seem dead 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 set on getting their grubby mitts on you, Emma. As long as you're here, they'll keep coming back, back, back. But as soon as they see you not, not, not here, I expect they'll be off, off, off as well. What about the others? Are you sure they'll be safe without us around? They'll be dan, dan, dandy. You let me worry about the children how gone. You just con, con, concentrate on protecting Emma. All right, look after them, okay? You have my word, word, word. Now, ha had it, you better talk, talk, talk to the cap, cap, captain. If anyone knows where to find a safe haven in a storm, 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 it's him. Come on, Emma, let's go. Yeah, we've certainly got a choppy situation on our hands, Emma. We better head off to another island and lie over till this all blows low. Just point to where you want to go on the map and I'll guess a course. Oh, I think it's... Right then, get your hands on deck and I'll set sail. Steady as she blow, oh dear. What the heck was that? Have we hit something? Sorry about that, ship pal. Seems like we bumped into a rock or something similar. Hard to tell with all this fog. Hang on, looks like the fog's clearing. 
Shivering me fingers, we've only gone and crashed into the a Hogan Children Hogan ship. Call a crash into our ship, would you? Now you've really ruffled my feathers. Wait a second, you're all pesky little humans. You should know that your kind are strictly prohibited from sailing the open seas. Hold on, humans sailing the seas, one with the face of a smiling simplician and the other with a face like thunder? You must be the bird brain builder and her belli belligerent buddy that Brother Shane told us about. Trying to fly the nest, are you? Instead, you've landed right in our laps. Ah, uh, heck, they found us. Looks like we've got no choice. We're going to have to fight our way out. Nice job, Emma. Those big chickens were never going to be a match for us. Ha ha ha. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, me hearties. He took me by surprise. Foolish humans, you were so drunk on the taste of victory you forgot to check on your friend waiting in the wings. Joke's on you, if you think we care about him. Now, now, don't make any sudden movements or I'll be forced to call your bluff. Drop your weapons nice and slowly. What do you say, Emma? Brownbeard might lose a limb or two, but he'd be all right in the end. Shall we risk it? <laughs> what? Don't send me up in cannel without an oar, mateys. I'm begging you. What do you say, I'm a brown beard, might lose? Okay. I'm supposed to say no, apparently. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so sorry for getting caught like this. Ugh, fine. We'll just have to do what the big, big bazo tells us then. Ha ha ha, that's more like it. Now get over here. Hand over all your equipment. Don't try to hide it anything from me. I've got eyes like a hawk. Oh, what's this? A hammer, is it? Kaha. That settles it. I know where you're headed. Oh, this is just great. The others risk their necks to let us escape, and we end up getting caught anyway. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. We're in this gherkin. Something on your mind, Emma? Huh? How should I know why they took your clothes? I'm glad, just glad they let us keep ours. Oh, where could they be taking us? Chill out, brown beard. As soon as we reach land, I'll smash our way out of this mess. For the time being, let's get some shut eye. The ship sways to and fro for three days and three nights. Then on the fourth night, it finally makes port at a small island. I'm on Maroth, all each subjected to a thorough body search before being thrown into the gloomy jail cells. Out of bed, you bone idol. Soldiers, it's time for morning roll call. <sighs> Hello, are you two new? Oh, you poor things. Silence you, you know the rules unless you're praying for forgiveness or begging for mercy. You keep those jaw bones clenched. Now get yourselves to the yard for a roll call, or it's off to the hall with you.
Good to see you again, partner. This place is pretty swish, huh? We've got separate bedrooms and everything. Still, I do wonder what happened to Brownbeard. Oi, boneheads, it's time for morning roll call. Not idle chit chat. Move your bony backsides. Oh, and you can go ahead and forget your old names from today onwards. Your numbers 6,207 and 6,208. So go on, clear off to roll call. You'll have to me to deal with. This guy's already getting on my nerves. Well, whatever. Let's just do what he says and follow the others for now. Number 6207 and 6208, you're late. Keep this up and it'll be off to the hole with the both of you. That's your final warning. Right, that's everyone from Block 3 accounted for. Let another day of bone breaking rehabilitation begin. Oi, Twiggy, what are you yapping on about? Number 6208. I do not expect to see that jawbone of yours moving unless you're praying for forgiveness or begging for mercy. Uh, drop the high and mighty act, will you? I want to know where we are and why. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Now away with the bo both of you. You've got a long day of rehabilitation ahead of you. Any funny stuff and it'll be off with your heads. God, why won't anyone around here give me a straight answer? Come on, let's go see what the other prisoners are up to. Hmm. You're late. 6,207, I've heard about you. My sources tell me you're a builder, is that so? And an honest one at that, very well. You shall work the field. Hold on, I don't get it. Aren't you guys for the children, Hogan? Come on, spit it out. What are you up to? Why are you making us do this? Silence, you should know by now prisoners are only permitted to speak when praying for forgiveness or begging for mercy. Now 6,207, go and plant 16 cabbage seeds in the field over there. Report back to me when you are done. done so soon tell me how did it feel was your heart not filled with anticipation for the cops to come with the simple joy of creation seriously what's your deal there's turning over a new leaf and then there's whatever you're doing right now speak again 6208 and I will cast you into my hole into the hole myself Now, where was I? Ah uh, yes, 6,207, it is time for you to experience the joy of creation once more. Go, go and ask 784 in the storehouse for 16 more seeds to plant in the field. The storehouse is to the east of here by the gate to the yard. Report to me when you are done with your work. Away with you. Where do you know skulls think you're going? Ah, uh, you're our new in inmates, aren't you? What was your number again? 6,207? Good to see you've embraced your new name. 
feel free to forget your old one because you won't be needing it again. I suppose you were on your way to meet 784. She's in the storehouse over there. What? 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 New fish, are you? The smile on your face gives that much away. Why, yes, I am 784. People used to call me Molly, the monster mule maker, once upon a time. A crying shame, really. Young folk like you two don't deserve to be locked up on this rock. Listen, old timer, we need to know what's going on here. Can you tell us that much? Well, of course. This is... Skelka Traz, a prison island used to rehabilitate anyone who dares to go against the children of Hogan. I'm starting to get sick of hearing that name. Skelka Traz is an itsy bitsy island surrounded by miles and miles of open sea. That's not to mention that the steep cliffs and Ravenous m mermen. Plenty of people have tried to escape, but none have ever managed it. I've been here a whole 40 years now. I think I got tired of staring at the sky and sea on my first day. I know what you mean. I'm sick of this place already. Just you watch, old time. We'll blow this joint in no time. Ho oh, ho, I used to be a lot like you, yes, back when I still had hope. I suppose you're both wondering why I was locked up here. Well, it all started with my love of cooking. I used to cook for the monsters from time to time, but then the children hug. The children came along and said humans and monsters can never be friends, and that's how I ended up here. I swore I would never cook again, but I wasn't able to throw away my humanity so easily. That's why I'm stood here before you now. What do you mean by throwing away your humanity? Ho ho, you understand one day. Here the gods beat the love of creation out of you, and then one day you wake up without any hope for the future. Ah, but that's enough misery for one day. I assume you're after some siege, 6207. Well, here they are. Hurry along and plant them now. We'll all be thrown in the hole if you don't hurry up and plant those seeds. Go on now. Go. I trust you have planted all the seeds. Well done, but I will expect no less from a builder such as yourself. We have re-educated many an unbeliever in the children's teachings over the years. However, I do not recall ever encountering a fully-fledged builder among their number. I look forward to seeing how you rehabilitation, rehabilitation progresses. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day doing countless odd jobs. And then. It will be enough for today. It is time to return to your cells. Collect your evening meal from the jailer on the way out. Be sure to rest well. Another day of rehabilitation waits for you, awaits you tomorrow. Well, if it isn't the one and only number, 5,932 here, I've got a virtual feast for you. I 
6,207. Here's your meal. And 6,208, here's yours. Eat up or you'll be nothing but skin and bones before long. I can do without for a while here. I'm all used to have mine. Oh my, is it possible there's not a single bad bone in your body? How nice of you. You know what being nice gets you around here? It gets you no dinner. That's the last cabbage you'll be seeing for a while. Now back to your cells, boneheads. Go through the gate and head to the right. Was it just me, or did today feel like it was never going to end? And there's one thing I still don't get. Why the tri why are the children of Hagan making us plant stuff? I thought they were dead against any kind of creation. Old lady cooks no more said they wanted the prisoners to abandon their love of creation and follow their ridiculous teachings, but this seems like a bad way of going about it. Yeah, I guess you're right. There's no point wasting time wondering about it. We need to focus on getting off this island. <laughs> Lulu and the others must be worried sick by now. It's time we got and move on. Oi, you, 6,208, less yapping, more napping. Get back to your cells this instant. Nighty night, jailbirds. Everyone back in your cells. The doors will be locked till morning, so don't bother trying anything. I'll say good night then. I'm in the next cell over if you need me. And don't worry about a thing, okay? That said, what the heck happened to Brownbeard? That's enough chatting, boneheads. It's time for lights out. And with that, the jailer locks Emma and the other prisoners in their cells. <sighs> and so I must first day of Skelkatraz, whatever that says, I don't know what this is, comes to a close. Exhausted from being forced to work the farm from dawn till dusk, she falls into a deep sleep. Then on the second day, Emma and the other prisoners water the seeds they planted the day before. On the third day, heavy rains drenched the island, forcing everyone to stay inside instead of work in the fields. The prisoners are forced to clean their entire cell block from top to bottom. Then on the fourth day, these guys are dicks. Out of bed, you bone idle bludgers. It's time for morning roll call. Can I kill you? Is that an option? Mm -hmm. All right, numbskulls, you know the drill. Head for the yard for roll call or it's off to the hole with you. They suck. Right, that's everyone from block three accounted for. But another day of bone breaking rehabilitation begin. Hehehe, <laughs> I bet you all can't wait to see how your precious cabbages have grown. Go on, I won't stop you. Get your bony backsides to the field. That means you too, 6,207, 6,208. If you're trying to tickle me, my funny bone, you've picked a bad time. Stop slacking and get to the field. Dick. 
These guys are not nice. <laughs> Even this guy, this guy's a dick. <laughs> Six thousand two hundred seven, you're late. There are only so many hours in the day and we must devote every one of them to your rehabilitation. Behold the fruits of your labor, perhaps the finest cabbage patch in creation. The three days you have spent nurturing those verdant vegetables were all leading up to this moment, the first step on your path to enlightenment. You see the haystack in the center of your field? What a dick! Set it alight with this torch and bear witness to the consequences of your actions. Return to me when you have seen enough. Gather around the cabbage patch prisoners. Open your eyes wide and witness the builder's first step on the long road to redemption. What are you playing at? You spent ages growing those cabbages. Why would you set fire to them? Oh look, they're all burning. <laughs> How could you? Them cabbages were like children to me. I was so looking forward to harvesting them all. Why would you do such a thing? I don't understand it. You were the only one who planted those cabbages cabbage seeds in the first place. Are you some kind of monster? Splendid, 6,007. Now come to me, my child. This guy's a dick. He's making everyone hate me. How does it feel, 6,207? Does your soul scream? Does your heart ache? This is the true delight of destruction. No need to hold it. You may cry out and joy if you wish. After all, this is the moment of your rebirth. <sighs> what? You can just plant new cabbages to replace the old ones? Brahaha. <laughs> Bold words indeed. You may take the rest of the day off, but I suggest you use the time, use the time wisely by s staring deep into the darkest recesses of your soul. You stick those spiky things up his ass. <laughs> Who does that whack job thing? He he is. Making you plant a load of cabbages and then burn them. Three full days you spent growing those. Three full days. And for what? I've had it up to here with the children of Hogan. They made everyone's lives a misery on Furrow Field and crumbled on. And now it's the same story here. What's their problem? I bet that old biddy who gave us the seeds knows what they're all about. Come on, let's go talk to her. So they finally made you burn your cabbages, did they? That's what all this talk of rehabilitation and rebirth boils down to, making you see how few futile all your acts of creation really are. Creation leads to attachment. Attachment leads to fear. Fear leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. That's why the Trevor Hogan believe creation to be evil, and it's a belief they're keen to spread. Ha, uh, well, if they're so big on destruction, how about we smash those skulls in and get out of here? It won't do you any good. I told you before that nobody's ever escaped this place, right? There are only two ways to get off this rock. Die or hand over your heart and soul to the children of Hogan. If I ever meet this Hogan guy, I'm going to have a word with him about his kids. Who the heck is he anyway? The high priest Hogan is the father of all destruction. What, Damien Priest? Though they say that no one in this world has ever actually seen him in the flesh. So you're saying these monsters are so dumb they worship someone 
they've never seen ever seen uh, that's enough. Stop asking questions and just accept things for what they are. In time, you'll get used to it and become numb to everything. Just like me. Go and have a nice sit down at, on that bench. It'll be dusk before you know it. If we're done for the day, we might as well just kick back on this bench and wait for nightfall. What do you say, Emma? Shall we wait here till the sun goes down? Right, let's put our heads together and think about our next move. That will be enough for today. It is time to return to your cells, collecting your evening meal from the jailer on the way out. Be sure to rest well. Another day of rehabilitation waits for it, awaits you tomorrow. I'm taking this, thank you. Might take me 10 hours to break, but. Well, if it isn't the one and only number 5,932 here, I've got a veritable feast for you. Ah, uh, 6,207, here's your sumptuous supper. And good evening, 6,208, enjoying a carriage-free diet. You won't be getting any today either. <sighs> Dick. I'm just breaking stuff and they don't care. Mighty night, jailbirds. Everyone back in your cells. The doors will be locked till morning, so don't bother trying anything. <sighs> what a waste of a day. I can't wait to get off this stupid rock. <laughs> I don't know when, but our chance will come someday, and if we stay alert and alive, we can take it. And with that, the jailer looks, locks Emma and the other prisoners in their cells. And so on this fourth day on Scalcatraz draws to a close. She lies down on her straw bed thinking of Lulu and the others back on the Isle of Awakening. 
and she closes her eyes, swears she swears to herself that she will escape Skelcatraz as soon as she possibly can. Out of bed, you bone idle bludgers. It's time for morning roll call. All right, numbskulls, you know the drill. Head for the yard for roll call, or it's off to the hole with you. Alright, that's everyone from block three accounted for. I must say yesterday was quite something. It really warmed m my bones seeing those carriages glow, glow, <laughs> go up in flames like that. Destroying your own creations is a noble act indeed. Now let another day of bone breaking rehabilitation begin. You there, 6,207,6,208, get your bony backsides to the farm. I'm looking forward to seeing your progress. You know, I can't wait for the day when that faint light of hope in your eyes is extinguished. Six thousand two hundred seven. You know it has been five days now since you joined us on the path of salvation. Path to salvation, dumbass. In honor of this milestone, I'm going to allow you to work the fields again today. Doesn't that sound fun? No. You will be planting cabbage seeds once more. Yes, thirty-two of them. Now hurry up and get to work. I trust you have planted all the seeds. Splendid, you are so eager to burn them in a glorious hellfire that you planted them in double time. Ha ha ha, I shall reward your efforts by giving you some free time. Run along and do as you please. 
I am well aware that you humans cannot help but think about yourselves when left to your own devices. A period of self-reflection is necessary from time to time for sinful prisoners such as yourselves. Enjoy coming face to face with your own futile existence, 6,207. Free time for self-reflection, some reward. Whenever I'm left twiddling my thumbs, so many questions come into my, into my mind. Like how did I end up on the Isle of Awakening to begin with? And how come I'm the only one who can't build stuff? Yeah, I guess you're right. This is exactly what the wacko wants me to be doing. Self-reflection for, is for idiots. Let's stop doing it right now. Let's work out how we're going to get off this rock instead. One of the prisoners here is bond to have tried escaping before. Let's try asking around for ideas. Can I be honest with you? I ain't really feeling up to it today. Lucky for me, I got just the thing to cheer myself up after a hard day's graft. Cora, I can't wait till bedtime. Here, here, here. What you want to know if there's a way off this island? Keep your voice down. What if one of the jail jail jailers jailers hear you? Hears you? Do you want to spend some quality time in the hole that badly? They say there's a crazed hammer hood they keep locked up down there. I definitely wouldn't want to share a cell with it. That's for sure. Anyway, I really should get back to work before someone tells me off. Stop distracting me. Let me fill you in on how the children turn humans into believers. First, they start by giving you the tiniest hint of hope. Then they sit back and let that hope grow until you start to believe things that things might work out for the best. That's when they smash your dreams into pieces. That's exactly what the ca cabbage patch was for. So many tiny green dreams all gone. I have to admit it works. Oh boy, how it works. You're trying to learn more about Skelkatraz? Hmm. All of us here on field duty are fairly recent arrivals, so none of us are that knowledgeable about the place, to be honest. Why don't you try talking to Ma? I mean, 784 in the storehouse. She's bound to know something us newcomers don't. Look at you two, Saint. Centering around without a care in the world, you've made yourselves right at home, haven't you? Someone's always watching you here, but you also get a surprising amount of time to yourself. That's a calculated move on their part, of course. But why? See, but why? Seems like they could do a lot worse than just leaving us to reflect on how bad we've got it here if they really wanted to. Let me put it this way. If it was a stick and no carrot, if it was all stick and no carrot, the prisoners would only grow to despise the children. Now that I think of it, why are you talking to me anyway? How many times do I have to tell you there's no way off this island? Honestly, you're going to have to give up on this silly dream of yours sooner or later. You might be a builder, but you'll learn soon enough that that doesn't bring you any benefits here. A builder slope. Huh? Who said that? Oh, it's just a slime. Didn't know they had them on Skelkatraz. 
What, what, what? Looks like it's taken quite a shine to you. Heaven knows why. Hmm, let's try something out. Here, take this. I've been keeping it while well, hidden from the gods just in case I ever needed it. That Wingler's ring lets you make friends with monsters provided they're interested in making friends first. And if you feed them some monster munchies, you'll seal the deal. Why don't you try giving the slime some of those monster munchies and see what happens. Go on. Monster mates. There are some monsters who will want to befriend you after you defeat them. Feed them some monster munchies and they'll join your party. Hope it's spelled slimy, right? <laughs> well, that's an interesting way to make new friends, I suppose. Yum yum, monster munchies, my favorite. I'm not a bad slimy now, I promise, slurp. It's what you thought I was going to say, wasn't it? The name's Splodger's Splodington. Ooze Acquire, by the way, don't be thinking you can give me an old silly nickname, Gooman. That said, Slimy isn't too shabby. All right, then I'll take it. It's not like anyone oozes their real names around here anyway, Slurp. Blow me down, it's him. Old Gottfried's Slimy sidekick. Or Slimy, I don't know. You're a builder, right? I bet we could get off this island if we squished our heads together. Let me help you escape Oops. as if a slime would be any use to us I think you'll find I'll come in very useful indeed mr. Maroth let's talk later jailers tend to drop their guard after the Sun goes down if you don't have anything better to do just sit on that bench over there I'll, it'll be sunset and no slime Oh, and one more thing, if the screws see me with you, they might think I'm up to no goo. I'll squeeze myself into your rags and lie low until night slime. <coughs> well, you'd never know if he was in there. Maybe that slime will come in handy after all. Well then, why don't we do as Slimy says and have a seat on that bench over there? If we're done for the day, we might as well just kick back on this bench and wait for nightfall. What do you say, Emma? Shall we wait here till the sun goes down? <laughs> right, let's put our heads together and think about our next move. <laughs> that will be enough for today. It is time to return to your cells, collect your evening meal from the jailer on the way out. Be sure to rest well. Another day of rehabilitation awaits you tomorrow. Well, if it isn't the one and only number 5,932 here, I've got a veritable feast for you. Ah, uh, 6,207. Here's just some shit supper. And good evening, 6,208. Enjoying your cabbage-free diet? You won't be getting any today either. Okay. Yeah. 
I do night jailbirds, everyone back in your cells. The doors will be locked till morning, so don't bother trying anything. Huh. Tonight's the night we get our plan underway. No idea how much of a help that slime will be, but I'm sure we'll get off this rock one way or another. Hmm. After all, that pyramid of ours isn't going to build itself. <laughs> you know Digby and Odelio are going to slack off if I'm not there to crack the whip. 6208. Is that your jawbone I see moving? Looks like this is good night. The rest is up to you. Find us a way off this idiotic island. That's enough chatting, boneheads. It's time for lights out. And with that, the jailer locks Emma and the other prisoners in their cells. Time for Betty buys, you horrible lot. If I catch you yapping, it'll be off to the hole with you. Psst, 6,207, slurp, oi, 6,207. You want to escape from here, don't you? Then Betty Buys will have to wait, slurp. I happen to know that there's a slapper special secret hidden somewhere in your cell. Take a goo look around and see if you can find it. Goo work. Now take a closer look at the floor. Those blocks look a bit different to the others, don't they, Slurp? Great. That's the hole I was hoping you'd find. Well, what are you waiting for? Go on down. How is it down there, Slurp? An old Gooman friend is of mine dug this tunnel in, a, in secret. Check that pot over there for more useful information. Judging by the terrible stench, this pot seems to have been used as a prisoner's toilet. Have a feel around inside. Emma plunges her hand in the pot, into the pot and has a good feel around. She doesn't find anything of interest. Judging by the table stint. Okay. I already read that. What luck. Emma finds a slightly soiled piece of paper. Yeah. So you found something, have you, Slurp? Tries splatting, splatting it out on that simple small table and see what it says, slurp. Go on then, take a closer look. What does it say? I am the escape, escape biologist, extraordinary extraordinary no prison penitentiary penitentiary or a pail of water can hold me tonight I shall attempt my most daring getaway yet I shall escape from Skelcatraz none other has ever achieved this feat it pains me to leave my slimy sidekick behind but such is the law of the professional power powder taker these feet were made for fleeing and that's just what they'll do I will succeed of that there is no doubt however should by some fatal fortune my mission fail I implore who's ever finds this letter to do what I could not yours fleet fleetingly got freed escape just extraordinary. Gottfried got caught by a trim of Hagan on purpose so that he could come to Skeletra's breakout and prove himself to be the best escape artist of all slime. <laughs> 